let's go over dark and darker patch notes like i said it is back rogue is back it's been fun playing cleric and we'll still play cleric we might even play cleric tonight a little bit but rogue is back okay now did they completely revert everything that they did to rogue no there's still a couple things that upset me a little bit that they did to rogue but like, it's so dumb, dude, that, like, if you want longer invisibility, you have to use a perk. Like, the whole point of being a rogue is invisibility, and they made it to where it went from having 45 seconds to only 15 seconds of invisibility, unless you use a perk. Which, it's like, no. I, I need those other perks so I can actually do some damage. But, still, they reverted some stuff. Some of it, like, a little bit. Some of it they fully reverted, and some stuff they buffed. So, let's go over it. Um, so patch notes, which patch is this? Number 14, hotfix number 14. Fixed a rollback issue where players would revert to a previous state when exiting a dungeon. Oh, that's that. I, I didn't experience that, thank God. Uh, fixed the Oculus Boots movement speed. That's a good one, okay. Fuck with that, big time. Um, fourth will really fuck with that. Like I said, I don't know what fourth plans on playing. Yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna play. We're gonna play. There's a couple things I do want to go over, though. Like, there's a, a tweet I want to talk about. Um, we'll go over live stream fails, stuff like that. Oh, and you know what? There's something else I wanted to talk to you about. But first, I'll go through the, the patch notes. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't know what fourth plans I'm playing tonight, because uh, the bomb already said he'll probably do Ranger while I play Rogue. I don't know what fourth plans I'm doing. Cause we're, I'm gonna re-roll my rogue. That's level 20. We'll start at level one for the bombs rangers at level four, he said. See, I don't know what fourth plans I'm playing. Um, I don't care if he plays warlock, but it's like we can't go into 15 lobbies. That'd be bad. Um, but uh, fixed an issue where Curse of Pain's instant damage would not occur when the Warlock uses Curse Mastery. Okay, I wonder if Fourth experienced that yesterday. Uh, fixed an issue where Power of Sacrifice could not deal damage when the Warlock uses Curse Mastery. Okay, another thing I wonder if Fourth experienced. Um, Lantern slash Torch additional movement speed has been adjusted to zero. Ah, that was fun. I liked how they they made the have more movement speed that was oh that's kind of lame uh lanterns can now appear with random modifiers at the higher rarities okay so maybe there is like a speed buff on there maybe we'll see here we go baby here we go damage for all daggers has been slightly increased let's go one thing that they do with these patches and I know it's because they're in early access and they're just trying to find a good balance they're chest testing the extremes to see what works and what doesn't work but sometimes I feel like they just over nerf stuff like way too hard and that's what they did with rogues they really over they 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 apologize to people for the things they the, the scary rogues how scary they were they were like we're sorry that it was so scary for so long and now they reverted that shit. Like I said earlier, I wonder if Spud Hunter is starting his stream today just being like, guys, what the fuck? They, they listened to me for like a couple days, but now they, what the hell? I gotta make another video now. Uh, but yeah, so the damage for daggers has been slightly increased again. That's good, because they nerfed it into the fucking ground. Uh, Rogue's trap detection range has been increased from 400 to 450. That's dope. I never used track, uh, trap detection, but cool Any for anybody that uses that. Here we go, dude. Here we go. Look at this buff. Rogue's jokester range has been increased from 350 to 450. Let's go! All my homies got that ability buff, dude. All of my homies get that shit. Hell yeah. Rogue's weak point attack armor rating reduction has been changed from 25 to 30%. Ooh! Isn't that a full going back to where it was? I'm pretty sure that's back to where it was. And the duration has been changed from three seconds to four seconds. Woo! Shush, 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 shush! I think that's like a fully revert, a reverted nerf, dude. I think it's back to where it was. That's sick, dude. Um, oh, I missed one. Sorry. 
Rogue's ambush physical damage. Bonus change from 30% to 50. No, that's what was 50. That's what was 54th right there. That The ambush was at 50% and they brought it down to 30. Now that's back at 50. I think the weak point, I'll have to go back and look, but I think we, I think both of these are fully reverted now. Landmine is back, baby. We're going to fucking pop out of that invisible. <laughs> Rogue's weak point attacks 50% damage bonus on the initial attack. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's, yeah, that is, has not been reverted yet. Or if it, it will at all. But they did change because there was the other weak point thing that they fucked over this. The armor attack rating reduction has been changed. They That, I'm pretty sure, is fully reverted. Um, if you're looking at that old patch nerf, let me know. Um, so now weak point only got half fucked. Okay. Cool. Um... From the old patch? Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Uh, where were we? Right here. Okay, and then some ranger buffs. <laughs> okay, I guess rangers needed a buff. I guess. Okay. <laughs> uh, rangers chase range has been increased from 400 to 450. What's chase for rangers? What is that? What's that? Forward, tell me. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, yeah, so Ambush is fully reverted back to where it was now. Okay, cool. Um, the foot, oh, the footsteps. So they have like a, they can detect it for longer now. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, they can detect it from a further distance. Okay. Bard's Warsong range has been increased from 350 to 450. Okay, greater, greater range on that. Bard's storyteller range has been increased from 350 to 450. Okay, some bard nerfs. I just wish they would go back to the to like replenishing spells without having to sit down. That's the one thing that I, I kind of miss about bards. I would play a bard if that was a thing. Okay, yeah, I said that when I read those. I was like, I wonder if fourth was experiencing that. Okay, good to know. They fixed that. Jack-o'-lantern has returned. That means we got candy, baby. The Jack-o'-lantern vendor is here. Jack-o'-lantern vendor is here, and we can find candy in the dungeon. Let's go. Halloween, baby! Got that candy corn. That candy corn. Go find that candy corn. That candy. Um, regular merchants no longer sell epic items. This is kind of a bummer. Yeah, rip perpskis. Rip them perpskis. Um, I understand though. Like, I, I read what they said here and we'll go over that. I, I get it. It kind of sucks. It was nice for a day. I honestly wish I would have bought more because now people are selling that shit. And that's, that's what kind of sucks. It's the same thing as when they did the plus three all attributes thing and then they took it away. It's like all this gear is still out in circulation that people got easily. So that that's like the, the thing that sucks. They always like go too far, you know? <laughs> um, the random modifier properties that appear on the colored rarity items have been reverted to give the much larger value uh, range and larger variety, including plus all attributes from before the previous patch. This means that checking the rolls for your items means just as much or more than the color grade of the item. What does that mean? Dude? What does this even mean? I don't know. They said this means, but I don't understand what this means. The random modifier properties that appear on the colored rarity items have been reverted to give the much larger value range and larger variety, including plus all attributes. So is armor going to have better stuff now? Is that what that means? That means that greens uh, could be better than blues or purples. I mean, we already experienced that sometimes. Okay. Okay. This means that checking the rolls for your items means just as much. Okay. Oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I understand that. Thank you for saying that, because this makes the second sentence make more sense. This means that checking the rolls for your items means just as much or more than just the color. So just the color is not de the determining factor in whether you want to use that item or not. Um, ooh, we're going to have to go hype as fuck for that, Crow. How's the new job? Have you started yet? I'm so glad you're out of fucking Walmart. Sub bosses and special chests such as uh, the lion's head, golden chest, marvelous, and royal coffins will always give colored great loot now. Oh, okay. Soul Reaper name change to Soul Scraper. Okay. Okay. I wonder what weapon that is. I wonder what kind of weapon it is. Actually, it's probably on that Wikipedia. Orientation Sunday, okay. You can work Saturday night. Are you going to? The jackal lantern is biss. Shit, dude. Okay. Uh, what's missing from patch number one? The volume of footsteps that occur when walking crouched has been slightly reduced. Okay. So you're quieter when you're crouched. And Barbarian's Iron Will now ignores knockback. What's knockback? What's that mean? What's knockback? I don't know what that is. You might. How should you quit? Um. Tell your boss you fucked his mom. Just not show up. Yeah, you don't need the reference, right? Knock back on these nuts. Yeah, that's right, Booney. When you oh, so you get hit, you get not. Oh, really? I've never noticed that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I have noticed that. You're right with the fireball. Okay. Tell your boss you fucked his mom is crazy. I think that's a good way to go. Okay, developer notes. With the early access patch number one, we wanted to have a clean baseline to start balancing the numerous weapons, armor, and classes. In order to do this, we needed to flatten and restrict the range of values of many of the parameters in the game. Okay. Our plan is to slowly build up from this baseline with what we've observed and learned during the EA to get a sweet spot uh, that the players across a wide range of needs can enjoy the game. Now that we've had our run with the nerf hammer, we'll start to work the dials and start working on some buffs one by one. Thank you. So I think that means they're not going to revert these rogue nerfs, hopefully. Or the rogue buffs that they did from the that, that they nerfed, now they buffed it back. I think that means they're not gonna nerf it anymore, hopefully. And they might even buff it some more. Uh, they didn't remove the old move speed warlock boots. Oh, they said something. What was that? Uh, fix the Oculus boots movement speed. Is that what you mean? Rogue needed that buff. I talked about it. I was watching uh, uh, Rogue uh, gear, uh, starting gear Rogue needs. I think so too. I've always felt like that, that it should start with a rapier. Because those daggers, starting daggers are just such garbage. But at least they increased dagger uh, damage. They fixed but removed the broken ones. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, I was watching Repose. I hadn't watched Repose much in the last week very busy with IRL shit last week and I've been playing a lot of guitar off stream I watched a little bit of his VOD from yesterday and he was just depressed he wasn't playing rogue he was playing wizard and he was they were talking about him and Jay were talking about trying out other games doing other things it was sad I felt bad for him and he's back today he's not talking about playing other games today I watched like 30 minutes of his stream before I started I was like okay he's back um, I was fine because I, I found love playing cleric, but I'm very excited to stab some people again. Um, but yeah, okay. So we also realized that although the changes to the merchants had the intended effect of reducing the stress of gearing up, we may have made it a little too easy, thus disincentivizing the value of loot more than we wanted. I don't feel like that happened. I thought it was really cool what they did, but that's fine. Whatever. They're just not going to have purples and shit like that. That's fine, whatever. In order to put more value into... I wish I bought more of them, though. I only bought one purple from the the vendors. I should have bought more. And the, the other, like, rare shit that I bought, like, we lost. The shit that I bought for, like, the bombings of that shit was just gone. 
In order to put more value into the higher grades of loot, we have decided to revert the more dynamic random modifiers from before er early access patch one. We have also slightly tuned these modifiers so some of the more desirable stats are even better than before. We have also removed the epic items from the merchant so that the higher grade items are even more valuable. Um, however, as an alternative means to still attain some of these higher grade items outside the dungeons, we've reintroduced Jack O'Lantern. Cool. Finally, we want to motivate players to still obtain these loots from inside the dungeon and have made the sub bosses special chests. Uh, and special POIs that will have uh, guaranteed higher quality loot. That's good. That, I, that, that's good. Good trade-off. Um, thanks always for your patience and understanding as we build this game together. See you in the dungeon. Cool. I like this. Good patch. Very happy the rogues are back. This is going to be a fun night. <laughs>